Here is poet Mark Walsh in a reading of his original work. Our next reader is Mark Walsh, and um, you're in for a treat, another treat. Thank you, Miriam. Thank you, Jennifer and America's Hometown Laureate, and thank you, everyone, for being here uh, at the second inaugural event of the <laughs> Plymouth Poetry Festival. Um, so my name is Mark Walsh. Uh, I teach at Massasoit Community College, uh, but I actually got my start teaching right around the corner on North Street back in the 90s when I, I started teaching at uh, Quincy College's Plymouth campus down here. And I was involved in organizing um, poetry events there. That's where I met Miriam. And it's, it's great to be back, as always it is, in, in Plymouth. Um, now the first poem that I'm going to read is part of this um, collaborative uh, art installation project that I worked on earlier this year uh, when the Poet Laureate of Brockton, the city that I work in, asked me to take part in this um, uh, project where we, we had a series of um, mosaic pieces by a, uh, a, an artist from Somerville uh, whose name is Emily Bagarva. And uh, we all had to pick a piece of one mosaic that, that she had done and write a poem about it. And now all of those six pieces are, are on placards that are right outside uh, the side entrance of, of the Brockton uh, Public Library. So you can go and check them all out. They're fabulous. Um, and this is my poem, and it's called Slow Wine. Slow Wine. A weed is a wonder, tempered by winter's crust and summer's weird heat, simmering with deep-coated growth, knowing a persistent secret like shattered glass shards stitched into a picture. Pulled up each July without surrendering the root, multiple stalks climb for air in a September surge, steady bloom in a season's decay. This is slow wine, a refusal to ferment or convert to a thing consumed, flowers steady in place and time. Fragmented light along dandelion shafts, a thing once broken, is stronger by half. Thank you. And this, this next poem is, is a villanelle because I'd never written a villanelle before and I, I felt I had to try a villanelle. I didn't want to leave this earth without having written a villanelle. I've now written a villanelle. Will I write another one? Maybe not. But this is called A Destination Is Not Some Place for Arriving. A destination is not some place for arriving. Let the detour be the detour meant for you. Keep your eyes on the road that you were driving. Burn a path on this earth for thriving. Do not waste time in the existential queue. A destination is not some place for arriving. You need to be okay with the mileage climbing. A longer route gives better reason to keep your eyes on the road that you were driving. There is nothing in the other lane depriving or leading to that life with promise new. A destination is not some place for arriving. Never surrender the vehicle you are steering. A passenger's life is one without a view. Keep your eyes on the road that you are driving. Own your breakdown. Mix it with your striving. Don't let cheap comparison be your last curfew. A destination is not some place for arriving. Keep your eyes on the road that you are driving. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button before you go. We'll see you next time.